Hi, it's Dana Horchowski. It's uh, Wednesday, October 28th. Hope you guys are all well. I wanted to, I'm hopefully, this is the last video I have to make with uh, Avita Pendragon, uh, Tanya Elizabeth Kane, Tanya Strassener. Um, if you want to see the videos that I reposted that she was hiding, it's on Freedom Road 888 on the YouTube channel. Okay, uh, I just wanted to hopefully finalize this because I need to get on to more positive things. Um, as I was uh, mentioning that uh, uh, Tree's agenda is to get the Hells Angels onto her side because she wants a new world order, order out of chaos, order ove chaos, which she uh, usually says. And uh, as she states, she is the Eve of Lucifer. Um, there is videos there that uh, mention that she uh, has visions of being the apocalyptic Kur of Babylon. So I have rewritten uh, the titles on Freedom Road 888 because I care not to put them on my JR Genius channel because I'm busy with uh, reporting on things that need to be reported because we're headed for some scary times. So I want to make sure that everybody's prepared. Okay, so I'm going to keep this as an aside, get this off my chest. Um, my comments have been disabled on my JR Genius channel because the last video I posted uh, tree came in and put one stars on all the videos, so I'm not going to uh, have to deal with this. I don't need to look at my channel until later, and I'm going to try to keep things as positive as possible. Okay, so hopefully this is the last bet. Um, uh, Sangrealian, your um, your channel now it doesn't look like Beauty and the Beast. It looks like Jesus and Mary Magdalene. So when I do the Terra Papers Part Two, I will I will express as uh, as it comes from a star elder's point of view, the uh, true um, uh, story but behind Jesus and Mary Magdalene. Actually, it's Yeshua and uh, Mary Magdalene. And Mary Magdalene was never a whore. Uh, Pope Gregory uh, named her, called her a whore. Uh, and that was around the 12th century, I'm kind of sure. So you got your sources wrong, and I don't know where you're getting your, your channeling from, but uh, I think that uh, you need to just stop and look at what you're doing because I'm afraid for the Hells Angels and anybody who's ever, uh, you know, tried to keep you away from your Earth Party, uh, our apocalypse, um, because you're going to sick these uh, drac draconian reptilians on us. They are underneath our surface. Uh, the um, higher-ups have been feeding them, ch women and children. Uh, that's why they've been disappearing at uh, massive amounts of uh, uh, quantities. So once um, shit hits the fan, they plan to come to the surface and feast openly on us. This is why she's so incessant on uh, changing her channel pictures into uh, Jesus and Mary Magdalene now because this, this guy who's now carrying Pindar is in uh, Salt Lake City, Utah, which is where the Nasara landings are supposed to be. Nasara is the National Economic Security and Reformation Act. Go check it out on CanadaStreetNews.com. I think it's October the 14th or the 17th. Um, I put that in detail, but that is the beast agenda. It's the bribe of the Antichrist because America, when uh, everything collapses due to vaccinations and their orchestrated uh, dollar, which goes down the tubes because of this Sangarian race that possesses this, uh, the Illuminati bloodlines, they can possess them for some reason. They have black auras. Um, so it's not these people's fault. The, this Illumina the Illuminati bloodline, they are enslaved and tortured to do what this fourth dimensional race tells them to do. So if you think that I'm ever going to be convinced that these, these uh, draconians, these uh, beasts, the fallen angels from Genesis 6 are ever going to be nice to humans, when the sons of God came down and made love to the daughters of man and produced the Nephilim, actually it's the sons of the gods that came down and produced the daughters of man, uh, and made love to the daughters of man and produced the Nephilim, and they gave birth to beasts which ripped their wombs open. This is what you want? This is your earth party tree? I don't think so. So, I'm telling you, what's coming is an economic collapse. There's going to be a lot of um, chaos, especially, especially in the States. Canada is going to have a revolution. I've already posted up the uh, our new independence, our sovereignty, which kicks the queen out. Uh, she invaded our uh, land and killed off all our indigenous people way back then. So uh, the way we're going to plan, and I will explain these in my videos because I need to keep this separate from uh, the rest of the people who don't need to hear this, this drama that's come about because uh, 
um, this Vegas, this is your your thing that you need to take care of. And um, so be careful, because I think this this guy that uh, is now carrying Pindar, who K Pindar wants to kill off and possess, because he tortures every human that body that he's in. Um, he may look like Jesus because she's now playing the Mary Magdalene with the veil on her head and talking about the demons that were inside her. Uh, Mary Magdalene was never demonically possessed. That uh, is a biblical scripture lie that uh, um, the sun god worshippers, the Rama and the Romans put in there and manipulated so that we would believe this apocalypse, this, this uh, book of revelations apocalypse which you want to manifest. As I said, we're going to go with the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Essenes, and we're going to play out the War Scrolls, where the Sons of the Light take down the Daughters of, I mean, the Sons, the sons of Light, which are boys and girls, all of us, um, get rid of all the Sons of Darkness, which are the Belial, B-E-L-I-A-L, and I've mentioned that in um, uh, my videos in the past, go see October 21st. Part two. Um, anyway, I don't want to stay on. I want to stay on topic here. But that's what's going to happen. We are going to have a new world disorder. We don't need any stupid queen or reptilian royal bloodline ruling over humanity. They have proven over thousands of years that they have made a mess and have only caused genocide. So this is the end of that, and it's an Aquarian age coming in, not the age of Virgo which you are, uh, you're September, right? So it's the Aquarian Age, it's the end of the Piscean Age, it's the end of the, the Fish Age, so I don't know what you're planning on doing, but um, hopefully uh, your little story um, blows up in your face and uh, people get the picture and see that you're now calling yourself Avita Peron reincarnated. Uh, the letters that you've posted on Pindar in your, um, in your messenger your Yahoo Messenger, no, I'm sorry, it's your Hotmail or, or whatever, um, have been manipulated because there's spell check on there and uh, you put a lot of stuff in that um, I've never seen before. So, and I've had your email access because you gave it to me because I thought we were supposed to be protecting the children. I didn't ever want to protect this reptilian race that has been destroying mankind forever and torturing the Illuminati. So remember, Nassar is coming in. It's going to plan on wiping out the Illuminati. The Illuminati have to wake up. If you need to get healing, you need to go see a spiritualist or a shaman to get those microchips deactivated because we've all been chipped, but especially the Illuminati bloodlines, uh, in order to anchor this fourth dimensional uh, reptilian being inside you to possess you, uh, you've been chipped. So, neodyme magnets may not work, but go see a shaman, go look up spiritualists somewhere in your area and get that uh, those deactivated. That will work. Um, also, protection, uh, these draconian reptilians, they have three hearts. So, Alex Collier on my JR Genius channel, i got to watch my time, um, says that they're very hard to kill. They're about 17 to 32 feet high and uh, about over a 1,000 pounds. So, Sangrelian, if you think you can uh, control these guys, ain't going to happen once you open the abyss up, and I told you that. But they have, uh, their hearts are underneath their armpits, and I'm sure there's one in the middle. If you can't cut off its head to kill it, you're going to have to get those two hearts underneath the armpits or you won't kill it. Or uh, kick, uh, damage it above the groin, this uh, reptilian dracos, so that uh, you can disable it. Something about titanium. Um, in my uh, alien races, I have the uh, reptilian defense mechanism. He said the t t titanium. Um, screws up with your electromagnetic frequency in Oregon. I have uh, on scribe.com uh, forward slash JR Genius how to make Oregon um, masters. They don't like it, it burns them, their dimension. But I have to make, I have had to make them stronger because I was uh, hugely attacked by this dimension. So I, I know how to protect myself. And I'm just telling you guys, uh, you need to protect yourself because they are coming from underneath the surface. Area 51, Dulce Base has been inbreeding these guys and uh, the American uh, government, I think it was Roosevelt, um, let these, these greys in. They said they were going to do experimentation on us, but they've been taking people forever. And uh, so take a look at Alex Collier. I'm running out of time, but he talks about how Mars, they had bases 
and these draconians have, have eaten everybody there and also on the dark side of the moon there's bases so watch out there's a rapture coming and it's big deception